Good evening and welcome in. Everyone is in a giving mood with Christmas just around the quarter, the Pelicans included. They have been giving baskets to every opponent for weeks now. Starting on November 25th and spanning over the course of 12 games, the Pels could not keep an opponent under 100 points and averaged giving up 117 points a game. But turns out all they needed was the magic of the holiday and, well, the Orlando magic. Early on at the Amway Center, what other pair of bigs in this league can do this? Boogie, reads and finds. Davis on the other end. Look, if I got the ball, I'm just going to kind of sky that thing on up there as high as possible. And I know something good is going to happen with that guy. Also, a little check-in with the former Cajun, Alfred Payton, pulling up more than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Puts it in there. His hair, though, still looking like a science fair project. Back to the regular scheduled program, Davis dunks. This has got to get a little boring at some point, right? He just keeps doing the same thing over and over again. Well, here's a switch up for you. Drew Holiday doing some laundry. Spin cycle in the fanciest of finishes. And while one finish is fancy, another one just nasty. Cousins putting the exclamation point on Bismack Biombo, and hey, they kept him under 100. Break out the champagne and pop the cork. The boys are playing D. You know, from one through five, you know, we're talking out there and just trusting each other. And so when we do that, you know, we're tough team to beat. I thought we were solid. I thought we did a good job with dribble penetration, which has uh, been a little bit of an issue with us. And then I thought we did a great job with our help defense of pulling in, uh, taking away some of the easy rolls, uh, some, some of the easy baskets. Just the most crucial of games tomorrow at the Superdome. We know about the rivalry with Atlanta, but what you may not know about is the implications. So here is the lowdown. Saints will more than likely face one of their two division rivals if they get in, whether that is as a division champ or not. Most of the importance is tomorrow dealing with home field. A win and you're one step closer to hosting the wild card matchup. Getting a bye is far-fetched because, well, you lost to almost everyone above you, so tiebreakers are not in play anywhere, so priority number one is getting in. Priority 1B, well, it's making sure tomorrow isn't the last game at the Dome this year. Drew talks about the advantage of playing host. Crowd can make a huge difference, you know, I mean, because at the end of the day, you know, you expect a game like this to, to be determined on the last possession, and, um, you know, there's, there's defining moments throughout the course of a game. You know, there's moments that you know, um, make a huge difference in the game. And if crowd noise can have a huge impact on that. Um, we love that. We know our fans are all about that. So uh, we need to do that nation out in full force, um, as raucous as they can be. And you got to think Drew threw in that whole comes down to last possession quote because of two weeks ago, that pick in the final two minutes with a chance to win against the Falcons. This is when the league starts getting good, right? You got teams hating each other, everyone talking revenge really gets you in the Christmas spirit, am I right? Yeah, Christmas spirit, Ebenezer, <laughs> Scrooge. That's all, that's all that matters. Everyone just wants to hate each other on Christmas Eve. Nothing, nothing wrong with it, right? All right.